Hi and welcome to the mail day with Bearded Thinker. Today we will be opening some more mail. We'll start in a couple of seconds. Before we go any further with today's episode, I really would like to thank all the members who have joined my channel. Thank you very much, your support really means a lot. And now let's get cracking with the video. This one says voltage meter and I hope I know what this is. Uh, I've, I've been also waiting for this one more than uh, two months, I think. Let's check it up. I don't remember ordering this, but I do remember ordering this one. This should be USB power meter. It says USB energy tester. I think this one is load. It has two positions, three kind of current, ohms low, whatever. 2.2 off on, 4.7 ohm off on. So you can probably combine them and select the one that suits you best. But I'm, I'm really looking forward to trying this one. Let me remove protection foil here. I don't think that this is the same model as in picture, but we will see. And in order to test this, what we need, we need a USB power bank and some load. Okay, so here is the USB charger I have. This one is 2 amps, this one is 1 amp. So I will be hooking it up to the 2 amps. Interesting. Okay, and on this side I'll hook up my Geiger counter. So this Geiger counter with the ESP32 board is using 0.1 amp and you get here the stats about it. 27 degrees. Okay, let's check the web listing. There are various options for you ranging from the color or from the type. What I got is the transparent case, I like the transparent case, but also the external load. What this means is that if you have, for example, a battery pack that you want to test, uh, one way of testing it is to provide a load that would be slowly consuming the power from the battery bank. And then you will end up with the information about total uh, milliamp hours that are stored inside the battery. This is the load, you can select to have either both loads active, which is 3 amps, or one of those. I've used this so far for testing various bits and bobs. I have power bank, DIY power bank similar to this one. And um, when I connect my ESP devices, for example, ESP32 connected with the Geiger Miller counter, that's how I use them to track the consumption of the battery. Also, I have a bunch of dead phones when I tested them if they are if they were charging or not to see if the for example socket died or batteries died or things like that. I use also this stick USB stick to test it. Not much more to say. I wouldn't say that I use it daily, but I do use it at least once a week. The store that I bought it from is a Torch Innovative Manufacturing Co with a rating of 98.5 positive feedback and if we look at this item this item has 4.9 out of 5 stars rating let's get cracking with the next item let's open up the next package it says integrated circuits times one and integrated circuit it is let me zoom in so this is, uh, is there a number here? Yes. So this is 
WCMCU or MCU-3835. It has a lot of pins on this side. Not much going on here, but this is lightning sensor or lightning strike sensor. According to the specification, you should be able to detect any lightning strikes in the range of about 50 kilometers. I think that this is done either through ionization or whatever of the air. And this is something I'm really looking forward to play with. Um, I, I, my general idea was to test if this one works. I'll be recording separate video on how to hook this up to Home Assistant and to Arduino. Yeah, this is a stretch for my programming skills, but the general idea is that I would have three of them on different places. So for example, one at my flat, my sister's flat, my father's flat or friend's flat, wherever. And then I would be able to uh, triangulate data between the three between the three sensors so I can let's say pinpoint the location of where there was a lightning strike. So if I would have, for example, 50 kilometers, 50 kilometers, 50 kilometers, wherever they intersect, and if they intersect, there would be a spot where the lightning hit. Then again, this is something that I have in my head and I have no idea how really I would be able to implement that. Probably I would have to work on the timings. Uh, I would have to use atomic clock to sync the clocks so I can get, uh, so I can avoid having false positives if there are more than one or two lightning strikes in a very short period of time. Then I would have to also calculate the distance and things like that, but yeah. So for now, this is it. Uh, let's check the web listing. This is the web listing for the AS3935 lightning sensor. I have yet to release the video and the reason I haven't released the video with the integration to Home Assistant using the ESP Home is that I'm having a bit of issues with that. So no matter what I did, no matter how I connected it, it just didn't give me values I was expecting. And also to test it, there are two ways. You can either find some high voltage discharge area, for example, the sparks in the kitchen to light up the gas, or the other one was to wait for the lightning storms. And as you can expect, not every time the lightning storms do show up, I'm at home. So I still haven't dedicated my weekend for this project to spend I don't know, 5, 10, 12 hours on it. But I hope to do that over the next couple of weeks or months. Let's get cracking with the next item. Here we have silicon wire. Okay, so this is, as it's saying, this is the silicon wire. I wanted to get my hands on a bit of wire like that because it's flexible, much more easy to work with. And I think that this one is either 24 or 26 gauge. But we'll check the web listing. It should be 10 meters total, 5 meters of black and 5 meters of red. I've seen this cable. I know that I needed cable, so I bought this cable. What I bought was 26 gauge cable. It is really nice cable, a uh, silicon one. It can bend easily, but I still haven't used it, I don't think, for any project. Simply because... I didn't have to. What I will definitely be buying is also some additional gauges available because 26 doesn't allow you to put too much power on that cable and if you do put it it could probably burn. So I will be buying something like 10 or 12 and yeah that will be it. As I said what I bought here was the 26 gauge cable from the China Total price I paid for this item was $3.71, while now it costs over $5 if you take into account shipping also. The store I bought it from was U Angel Official Store with the positive feedback of 98%. The item itself has rating 5 out of 5 stars. Not much more to add because it really is only a 5 meter red. 5 meter black silicon cable. 
total 10 meters. So just to be clear about this one here. Let's check the next item. Let's look at this package. Connector. Transparent box. And these are wire connectors. So all of these are for three wires. And I've been looking forward to play with these fake ones, of course. Mm -hmm. I have nothing here on me to test it, but it should work the same as original. You open it, put the wire inside, and then you clamp it. So how many are inside? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 19 because one is not here. I really wanted these to test to have when I play with the electronics and also when I use them up this box is nice for the connectors I have lying around. Let's check the web listing. Yes, I'm aware that this is a fake product, but there is also a great review from the bigclive.com on the YouTube. I will be posting a link to his video where he disassembles one of those. To be honest, I still haven't used it, but I know that one day I will need them and then I will have them in a stock. There are various options for you, ranging from the types you want, if you want to have them interconnected or not, transparent or not. I bought a box from this. This was all bought from the electrician electrical store with the 99.4 positive feedback review. And this item has 4.9 out of 5 stars. As you can see, a lot of orders. I cannot tell you how satisfied I am with those or not, but judging from the bigclive.com review or his tearing down of this item, I would say they are pretty much okay. The item currently costs $4.98, while I paid it $4.73, so it's a little bit more expensive now than it was before. Let's look at this package. <laughs> yeah, I, remember, uh, I remember when I received this package, I uh, was a little bit laughing when I seen the description of this package. It says building blocks. 5 times 5 times 5. And I was like, what? I didn't order Legos or anything. But then, yeah, 5 times 5 times 5 reminded me of what this is. And it's well packed. Magnets. So the question is why I ordered them and for what I'm going to use them. Well, I've been waiting for them for almost three months now. And to be honest, in the meantime, I forgot for what I used them, for what I ordered them. I think that I ordered them so I can insert them in something I 3D print and then use it to hold the lid or something with the magnets. But I'm not sure I have to really find what, what I was planning to do with these and then do it. Nevertheless, they are small, but they're, they are really strong. You have to put a lot of force to remove them. So yeah, I think that this will be for whatever I, I was intending to use it, uh, great, yeah. Okay, let's check the web listing of this item that I waited for mm, almost three months. Unfortunately, this item here is no longer available, but I will provide you with the link to the similar item or to the search request on the AliExpress. As you can see, I bought 50 pieces. The price was $2.80. The item was ordered in the May. Um, I'm pretty satisfied with it, although I'm not using them still for what I intended them to use. So I, as I said, intended to use them for the 3D printed cases. And it would allow me to put a piece of metal on one side and also magnet on the other. 
and have detachable cover or something like that. For now we are using them for one thing only and this is to play and make various weird shapes. And this is it for today's mail day with Bearded Thinker. I really do hope that you find this video useful. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you yourself did find something useful on the internet, please share a link with us, either posting it here in the comment section or on the Discord server. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified of the future updates. And I'll be seeing you soon. Until the next time, bye bye and have fun.